First, I have to ask you, of course, about the elephant in the room, which is your former boss, Donald Trump, just announced that he's running for president. Will Heard you, that. Will, will, you, will you support him? Well, it's great to be here at CNN, Jake. Thank you. It really is. What's up, everybody? Major Retired Richard Ojeda here, and CNN hosting a town hall with former Vice President Mike Pence, and he has some very mild criticisms of Donald Trump. Oh, the little VP that couldn't. Pence is still struggling to find a way to both condemn the actions on January 6th and also not get all the way on Trump's bad side. How sad is that? In, in the end, our administration did not end well. Uh, and I write about that in my book. I think in the days ahead, uh, whatever role I and my family play in the Republican Party, whether it's as a candidate or simply a part of the cause, I, I think we'll have better choices, better choices. than so my old running mate. I, I think America longs to go back to the policies that were working for the American people. But I think it's time for new leadership in this country that will bring us together around our highest ideals. Would that be you? I'll keep you posted. You'll keep me posted. Yeah. All right. First off, the free publicity for Mike Pence and his new book is pretty distasteful, considering his loyalty to Trump's insanity spanned all the way up until the moment Trump supporters said that they wanted to hang Mike Pence. Interviews you've done, it doesn't sound like he ever apologized. And we know from testimony that he gave the impression to his top White House aides that were there when the crowd was chanting, hang Mike Pence, he said something along the lines of, according to testimony under oath, maybe they're right. Well, Jake, I don't know what was happening at the White House. I was at a loading dock at the U.S. Capitol building working the problem and doing my level best to help facilitate the arrival of uh, security personnel to quell the violence. In the five days following January 6th, I, I made no effort to contact the president. He comes across in this interview as about as fake and insincere as you can get because his own running mate wanted him to die. But when his uh, daughter Ivanka and son-in-law came to my office as I write in So Help Me God and asked on that following Monday if I'd be willing to sit down with the president, I, I told them I wasn't looking for a meeting, but if he had something to say to me, I'd hear him out. I was angry about the differences we had and I was I told him seeing those people ransacking the Capitol infuriated me. But we sat for more than an hour and a half, and I was candid with the president about my disappointment. And I must tell you that um, I sensed the president was deeply remorseful in that moment. I can't stress that enough. The former president wanted his supporters to succeed in their efforts to overthrow democracy and possibly murder sitting members of Congress as well as the vice president. And this whole charade is just another layer of the dog crap casserole that the right has created to cover up for the severity of that fact. Now he'll fall back into the Jesus card, but notice that no one on the right ever takes a second to discredit Trump's faith. His most loyal followers say that he's a godly man, which apparently now to the fringe right wing means that you can do pretty much whatever you want as long as you say amen at the end of your sinning. He told me many times that he was a believer and I told him, well, turn to Jesus, hoping that he would find the comfort there that I was finding in that moment. But in this interview, Mike Pence comes across as the perfect, typical Republican candidate. Those that came before the MAGA craziness, mind you. He's not really charismatic, but he's good at speaking. And if a Republican is speaking on camera, chances are they're lying. You know good and well he didn't have an hour-long conversation with Trump about his disappointment. Trump probably rambled for an hour and Pence just sat there holding his own spine because he sure as hell never used it. He's never taken the time to completely condemn Donald Trump or the way the GOP has shifted to the madhouse that they are now. And to call Trump remorseful about what happened on January 6th is a complete joke. That man doesn't have an ounce of regret in him. He's not capable of it. He continues to put targets on the backs of those that have dared to challenge him, and Pence is trying really hard not to be that person again. Now, maybe he's telling the truth. Maybe Trump showed him a side of himself that the public doesn't know. Or maybe Mike Pence is trying to sell his book and stay relevant. There is nothing about Trump that begs any forgiveness or pity. He is a bull in a china shop with the brain capacity of a toddler, and he will take the entire Republican Party down with him if he doesn't get his way. 
Comment down below if any of you think that there is a snowball's chance in hell that Pence will get the nomination and if he may show a fraction of his backbone to get it. As always, keep your popcorn ready because this GOP infighting is just getting started. And that's a fact. Sappers clear the way, airborne all the way.